Hey peoples, it's your girl Coach Master and I am back for another minimalist style video and today is an interesting one because it is a more diagnostic style video for 20 signs you're secretly a minimalist. Before a few months ago, I didn't actually know minimalism was a thing. I didn't even know that such word existed. So I later on realized that I was basically doing many of the things that minimalists do and that's where this whole realm of possibility opened up so i want to have that eureka moment for you guys too so watch this video and see the 20 different reasons that you could be a minimalist so let's start with why would someone decide to become a minimalist not scratch that there's so many signs to look for in life that decide if the minimalist lifestyle is right for you i've already touched on some of these but i will give you a few more signs that you're a minimalist. Number one, you're turned off by the consumerist culture. If you don't like the way that other people buy things, they constantly impulse buy, then that's a reason you're a minimalist. Two, you feel like you should have been born in a different day and age. Throw back to the times when it was simpler, eh? A cluttered home causes you stress. This was a big one for me and I didn't even realize that I would put back my things because it would make me stressed. So once I realized that, it opened up this possibility that I could have been a minimalist my whole life. Four, a busy schedule leaves you fe feeling overwhelmed. Four, a busy schedule leaves you feeling overwhelmed. If you don't like cluttering your schedule with many things, you could be an introvert, but mainly you could be a minimalist. Five, you're frustrated by how much time it takes to clean up after your life. So if it takes you more than two hours to clean, you're probably a minimalist because you want to optimize your time in your life and spend a lot less time doing these things. Number six, you never feel like you have enough time to do what you want. This was a big one for me because I would always come home from being a national team athlete and training and then I would come home and I would have to spend an hour cleaning my room because I would just drop everything throughout the week and it would pile up. So. I felt like I didn't have enough time in my life, so decluttering items would allow me to spend less time on each thing and free up a lot of space in my life. And that's one of the reasons I was able to make this YouTube channel alongside doing school and work. Number seven, your priorities are usually put on the back burner because of urgent tasks and activities. So if you're a procrastinator, you usually leave tasks to next if you're a procrastinator, you usually leave your tasks to the future, but this could be a sign that you're a minimalist because if you're putting things away because you have urgent tasks to do, then you probably have too much stuff accumulated because usually the things that go, that get procrastinated are cleaning. Number eight, you want your kids to grow up knowing that relationships should always be put forward. Ah. You want people to know that Relationships should always be put before things. So if you value having a great relationship with other people rather than items, you're a minimalist. Number nine, you try and teach people on your needs versus their wants, hoping that they won't get sucked in. If you're constantly with your friends trying to tell them you don't really need this item, you just want it, then you're a minimalist. You're a minimalist. 10. Looking back, you don't regret prioritizing a hobby, dream, or relationship. So if you look back into the past and you think of all the time you spent studying or doing things that you enjoy and you don't regret the time you spent on it, you're a minimalist. 11. You wish your life was different in terms of how you spend your time and money. This one's given. 12. You wish you're willing to give up some of the things if you know that it'll make you happier. 13, if you knew that you would have no regrets, you would be willing to give up the things you currently spend up your time on. We scratch that. If you knew you had no regrets, you'd be willing to give up the things you currently spend your time on. If you don't like your job and you'd rather be doing something else, slowly transition your life into doing the things that you actually want to be doing. Why are you doing things that you don't want? 14, you feel like you don't have time, energy, or money to truly enjoy your life. 15. You wish you could be more content with what you have. 16. Wasting time has become an issue and you know that it's preventing you to get from where you want to be. If you don't like wasting time and you want to be doing other things with your time, you'll have to reassess your life situation and 
realize that you might be a minimalist. So decluttering your life might be more worthwhile for you in the long run. 17, you feel like you should be able to handle the stuff in your life, but you just can't. 18, wasting money has become an issue and you want to get your finances back in control. I don't know if my finances were out of control, but I was constantly impulse buying before. So I realized that I didn't enjoy this and that tied into the minimalism category. 18, 19, you wish you had the money to buy higher quality items that last longer and work better. If you enjoy more quality items rather than having multiple of that item, you're a minimalist. 20, you want to gain control of your life instead of letting your stuff or situation decide how you want to spend your time. So if you have this willingness for control in your life, you are most likely a minimalist. So those are all the tips I've got for you today. That is the 20 reasons that you could be a minimalist. There are probably a lot more, but these are the only ones that I could think of. And are you a minimalist? See, we all learned something new today. You might have learned something new today about yourself. The more you know. Do not like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye. Or I won't see you.